Yo, what's going on everyone? Miles Midoriya here and in this video we're going to be talking about some details for All-American Season 6 that was talked about from the cast and the showrunner Carol. First up, starting with everyone's favorite pair, Spencer and Olivia, it said the new season will kick off with Olivia's return. Daniel did warn though, they've had a significant amount of time apart that changes both of them. They've been on separate continents for a minute now, so what they're going to be doing is kicking it off with the two of them realizing just how much they changed. Daniel and his castmates couldn't say too much ahead of the April 1st premiere, but he called their upcoming tribulation some really powerful stuff. Samantha even commented that the season's been really fun because they've been wanting to see Spencer and Olivia together for a really long time. It just seemed like there was something always getting in the way. There is going to be some stuff in between. Of course, it's all American. You know it's going to be something. But she thinks ultimately they're going to see the relationship really transform into something really beautiful. Y'all know this relationship wasn't going to have a perfect start, but it is good that the characters are going to be showing growth and how things will work out for them. I think they'll be able to handle it and that's just a part of life. Everyone grows, everyone changes, and some people will stay with you and some won't. Carol said this time around Jordan is in a much more mature place in his life and his relationship with Layla represents something much deeper. Jordan is a hopeless romantic. When he falls, he falls hard. To him, it's zero to 1,000. With his father passing and having something so monumental like that happen in his life and the way Layla showed up for him, there was already so much love there. She explained, so getting married, the real life stakes of that, along with the fact that his sister is leaving town. The family unit is shifting, and Layla is becoming that new family unit. To Jordan, it's the thing that made the most sense. Michael did tease that Jordan will experience jealousy, we already knew that, anxiousness, and nervousness about the relationship. This season, though, he's going to handle it much differently than he did in the previous seasons, given that he's matured. Layla does have a new business partner, so that jealousy may pop up there, but once again, Jordan not throwing no punches this season. Greta said season 5 was all about Jordan and Layla coming together and build their relationship, but as they move into the next phase of that, there's things naturally that arise that they have to work through. For Layla, that not only includes learning how to show up for a partner as a fiancé and eventually wife, running a business, and grappling with patient stabbing. With Layla specifically, patient stabbing has a really profound effect on her and that's also something she's dealing with simultaneously with trying to be a good partner. Looks like Layla's gonna be another character juggling a lot of stuff that's going on and especially the stabbing of patients, we know that's probably gonna take a toll on her a little bit as well. Because that is someone that she cares about, that's her friend, her artist, and the fact that she got stabbed, that just probably really hurts her. Another person that cares about patience is Coop. They had asked Breezy about how patience getting stabbed will affect Coop this season, and Daniel interrupted with oof. If he had to say that, it's not going to be good. She did say that she thinks just like anyone else that Coop loves and cares about deeply, she is very affected and will continue to be until she can make it make sense in her mind. She went on to say from the beginning of the series up until now how passionate Coop has been about everyone that she cares about and patience is no different, so through the fire they go. In the next part of the article, they had mentioned about Asher and Jamie and their baby and Daniel did tease that at some point this season, Spencer will have to babysit. They said the tone that he used suggested that it might present a bit of a learning curve for Spencer. There was a question about the crossover for the shows because they won't be premiering on the same day. Carol said the All-American Universe, what's so beautiful about it is that the characters exist in both worlds. There's so much love and crossover and everything within the family that while they may not have as much as they did in the previous seasons, the characters are still very much alive in each circle and sharing storylines. Just taking a guess, we may see a crossover maybe once or twice, if not that, a mention of a character. In the article, they had mentioned how All-American and All-American Homecoming haven't been renewed for another season quite yet. It's still too early. The CW's president of entertainment, Brad, has said that as long as the shows are doing good, there's no reason why they can't keep them. Carol did say that she has plenty of ideas to keep the show going for as long as possible. That includes seeing Spencer, Jordan, and some of the other players off to the NFL. Besides Spencer and Jordan going to the NFL, it would be cool to see Asher as a coach in the NFL. She went on to say that she and the creative team are constantly having conversations about how that transition would go. 
it was brought up that for the story, she enjoys the real time of it, but that doesn't mean that there won't be a time jump sometime in the future if it services the story. It would be interesting to see how they do the show if they are in the NFL. I think it would be cool. Not saying it would be like the TV show called The Game, but its own version of how it would handle it. I'm interested to hear y'all thoughts on this. Comment below what are your thoughts on the article and what was all said.